Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about the GitFlow Hotfix branch, how to start it, how to finish it, and how to integrate it into your GitFlow workflows. So here is what a GitFlow repository looks like after you've done GitFlow in it. You got a master branch, you've got a develop branch, and you know what, you don't have a hotfix branch. But if you've got a bug on this master branch, let's just imagine you've been doing a lot of development and a lot of merging of releases into master, all of a sudden you've got a problem here. Well, what do you do? You gotta create a hotfix branch. This hotfix branch is designed to address problems, bugs, security bugs, real serious problems with performance that exists in your production master publicly available branch. Now, of course I say publicly available, but I mean, you could be doing this for internal development, but let's just think of this as a stop the world, stop the press type of problem. One of those happens in the master branch where you create the hotfix okay? and then you work on this hotfix until that problem is solved. You don't touch features. You do not do chores. All you do on this hotfix branch is concentrate on fixing that problem. Now you may have a topic branch that goes off the hotfix branch and have a couple of people working on the hotfix branch, but you stick with that hotfix branch. And then when you're done, what you do is you do the hotfix finish and what GitFlow will do is it will take this hotfix, it will merge it into master and boom, it will merge it into develop as well. That way, well, the fix is in production and of course you want it in develop because the next time you push from develop to release back into master, you wanna make sure that that fix is there as well. So by merging hotfix into the develop branch, well, that gets all of your changes into develop as well. Now let's do a little example and show you how this works in code. So here's a little folder with nothing in it. I may as well start git bash here and say, hey, let's initialize a git flow repository. So I do git flow in it. And that's gonna kick off the git flow initializer. It's gonna say, what's your master name? I'll say master, develop, develop feature, bug fix, release, hot fix, support, and no tags, and that looks like a good hooks directory. And now, and there you go, you can see that hidden directory git up here indicating that, hey, I've got a new git flow repository. And do you think I've got these bug fix, release, hot fix, and support branches there? Not a chance if you do git branch dash A, you'll see that the only two branches that are created right at the start or develop in master. But let's say we're working in this type of an environment that looks like the diagram that we saw just moments ago. Speaking of which, there it is, master and develop, the only ones that are available right off the bat. You know, I also wanna point out that there's no tags there either. So if you do git tag and let's list all of those git tags there, you see nothing comes up. Okay, but let's say we've got a problem on our master branch and we need to do a hot fix. How do you do it? Well, you just say git flow, let's start a hot fix. So it's git flow hot fix start and give it a version number, we'll do 0.1.1. And all of a sudden the git flow process will jump into action. If we go in here and say git branch dash A, you'll see we now have that hotfix branch. We are actually on that hotfix branch. Maybe let's do a fix. So I'll say touch fix.html and all of a sudden we now have that fix file in our hot hotfix branch. Let's do a, an add and let's do a commit. And there we go, Bob's your uncle, we've got the fix, the fix is in, time to place your bets. Okay, so now we've done our fix, well what do we do after we've done the fix? Well, it is time to finish things up. In order to do that, what we do is we type in git flow hotfix. I wanna finish this thing up, gotta spell hotfix correctly. Git flow hotfix finish. And what version we were working on, it was 0.1.1, I do believe, and you can see that up there in the text, I click enter, and boom, all of a sudden it finishes this hotfix. Now, what does it mean to finish this hotfix? Well, of course, it's gonna do a, a commit, and it's gonna do a commit onto what both the develop, and it's also gonna do a, a commit, a merge onto that uh, master branch as well. 
So I got a little merge I got to do here. I'll close up my notepad. It looks like, hey, I'm doing another merge there. So I got to do a tag actually, and I'll say um, tag this bad boy. Okay, and so that adds the tag. And then finally, as I said, I got a couple of merges here. I got to merge into master and develop. So I need to put a little bit of a tag in, not a tag, but a, a commit message in there. All of that's done. And now the fix is really in. And what does that mean? Well, first of all, uh, notice I'm on the develop branch. Okay. And if I do git branch dash a, you'll see there's only two branches left, develop and master. If I do git tag dash l, all of a sudden you see we've now got a tag in our current environment of 0.1.1. And also notice if I do the ls command, whoa, all of a sudden that fixed that HTML was put onto the develop branch. I didn't do that, but it looks like git flow did when it merged that hotfix branch with develop. Now if I do git checkout, master, what happens here if I do ls? Notice the fix is in once again, and that's because, well, you know, I did the merge not only from hotfix to develop, but hotfix to master as well. And of course, if you do git branch dash a, you will notice that, well, that hotfix branch isn't there anymore because it was deleted. Once this merge happens here, you can see we go from the hotfix to master and the hotfix to develop. Well, we don't need that hotfix anymore. And it gets to, and it gets deleted and there you go that's how the git flow hot fix works now if you enjoyed that tutorial why don't you head over to the serverside.com i'm the editor and chief over there and we've got lots of great tutorials on git git flow devops enterprise software development you name it if you're interested in my personal antics you can follow me on twitter at cameron mcnc oh and yeah why don't you subscribe on the youtube